So we all love leftists, right? You can see how they just want the best for you. They're not tyrannical communists. That's what a racist would think. They just want to see what you're up to and watch your bank transactions for your own good, you bigot. You've got Anthony Fauci as the father figure they never had of all the fat women in the world. And as a state's propaganda unit. Sorry, that slipped out. I didn't mean to say that. I mean, a totally unbiased TV channel show. This man, Dr. Fauci, is the most respected and loved man on the planet. Then you got Pete Buttplug, a man so competent as a transport secretary, he takes two months off during one of the worst supply chain problems faced in recent years to learn how to breastfeed or some shit. Comes back and immediately declares Rhodes racist, thus curing all supply issues in one foul swoop. And of course, this swift action to declare concrete and tarmac racist as one of his first duties has made him unilaterally love. Then we get to Kamala Harris, a woman so loved by the public, they didn't even think they needed to vote for her during the primaries for the presidency, they just assumed everyone else would. Unfortunately, that silliness, which was entirely the public's fault and not hers of course, meant she got no vote votes at all, and appeared unpopular, which she's not, everyone adores her, she doesn't come across as an alien in human skin trying to learn how to act like a person in real time. Look, the fact anyone thinks she's unpopular and some sort of fake weirdo is because they're sexist and racist. Then we get to the most loved of all the left wing, Joe Biden, a man so popular he got 81 million votes, almost all of them from people still up and about at 3am. So he's beloved by night owls, that's definitely certain. This is a man so loved he's even got his own universally beloved catchphrase, let's go Brandon. This is a man so beloved he doesn't even have a single video on his official YouTube channel that isn't ratioed into oblivion. I've checked by the way, that's true. But that is a sign of affection. Not dislike, you big sillies. So for anyone thinking this is a government order to protect the universally hated left-wing communist government because their egos can't handle it, no you silly gooses, YouTube said it's to reduce targeted dislike campaigns and their impact on small creators. So it must be true. That's why they're removing the dislike button. I mean the fact that likes and dislikes are the fucking same in the YouTube algorithm, if you get a load of dislikes, YouTube pushes your video just the same as it would if you got a load of likes. So a small creator like myself loves it when you get a lot of dislikes, which I actually don't get. I'm not as unpopular as Joe Biden because it's interaction and generates more views because they push it. If it has interaction, the video gets pushed. YouTube doesn't care about whether it's liked or disliked. All it can see is interaction. So a small creator loves interaction because that means that video is going to get more views than it normally does. But this is definitely the real reason. Everything else like the fact that all the leading people in the American government are so insanely visibly unpopular is just a coincidence. Life's entirely coincidences. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and dislike the video because <laughs> you're not going to be able to do that for much longer. And share and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, bye.